Hi, I'm Rod from Mill Creek Saw Shop. Come down and see us for any of your power equipment needs. We're making life's outdoor chores a whole lot easier. I'm here with Bill and Linda Seville. Uh, Linda, can you tell us a little bit about Adam and what you were told when he was uh, born? Adam weighed one pound 15 ounces when he was born. He was only 11 inches long and he had a grade 4 brain hemorrhage when he was a couple days old and um, they pretty much told us he would be a total vegetable and to bring him home and make him comfortable for as long as we had him. And as you can see that was 24 years ago and he's a very active uh, <laughs> young man. <laughs> On a farm just outside Slainsville, West Virginia, lives a very remarkable young man. Hi, I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com, and this is Adam's World, the story of Adam Seville. As Adam's parents, Bill and Linda Seville, explained, Adam's prognosis at birth was not good. Only weighing about a pound, life was uncertain. But Adam surprised everyone. And now, 24 years later, he is a ray of sunshine in so many lives. Although his condition has left him blind and with only the use of his left hand, Adam enjoys everything life has to offer. When you meet him, his happiness is contagious. He knows nothing of the stresses and strains of everyday life that most of us face. What he does know is how to appreciate life. Every day is an adventure for Adam, and he is there to enjoy it and to share it with you. Hi, Adam. We come out to visit with you. Hey, great. <laughs> Great! Well, it's good to see you. I oh. got something to show you what Raven do. Raven is Adam's German Shepherd service dog. She helps him take his cup to the kitchen sink, helps him undress, And Raven is also Adam's playmate and companion. Adam also helps with chores on the farm. Holy Toledo. The Savilles also own a tack shop where Adam stays busy. <laughs> And also, I get good girls' phone numbers. <laughs> yeah, he gets you the girls' do? phone numbers. Yeah. You getting phone numbers at the tax shop? Uh-huh. Yep. Girl. Yep. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> we just never listened to what the doctors told us. We just uh, worked with him from the very minute he came home from the hospital. The hardest part, I think, for all of us... Um, was when he lost his vision. That was really hard. That was hardest on Daddy, I think. He was nine. Yeah. He asked Daddy, what was it? He says, Daddy, why can't I see? So yeah, we had to explain point. to him that seeing is not always with your eyes. He has taught us a lot. Yeah. Most of your average individuals have never been around a handicapped person. When they get around one, the majority of the people are extremely uneasy. Once you live with it, you adapt to it and really understand that they have needs and, and wants the same as anybody else. We try to work with, not with his disabilities, but with his abilities. Mm -hmm. Now I realize there's a quality of life no matter what your disability. Definitely has taught us uh, a lot to, to appreciate every minute and you know, and have a lot of fun. <laughs> Adam, he does have a as, good time. As you can see, Adam likes to have a lot of fun. <laughs> 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 <laughs>